Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, I think we've got a bumper day in, in the view today. Uh, this is going to be a review of the uh, Friday crossword from the 1st of December. Um, I think Mark's putting up a video where he's going to compare his solve of yesterday's puzzle with mine um, and explain why I'm slower than him, which uh, I'll be interested to see and I think will shed some light on uh, you know, the speed of thought that goes in uh, to his solving and then we'll also do a video uh, for the Sudoku subscribers uh, showing how to do today's deadly killer Sudoku. So without further ado let's um, I'll start my solve. Uh, this was a puzzle that was um, uh, very irritating really for me because I was let down by uh, lack of knowledge in a couple of places which really hurt me and also by uh, just brain freezes in other parts. I mean, I was quite pleased. You see, uh, I'm looking at one down there. Um, if you don't know that um, there was a book called The Diary of a Nobody, um, then that clue is nearly impossible because there is uh, uh, there's no uh, definition at the start or the end. The whole clue is just a, a reference to that book. Um, now, here we see my ignorance. I did not study, study Latin at school, so when I see ut infra, I'm instantly filled with fear um, because I just don't know what it's getting at. Um, and, you know, I move on, but even as I move on, I'm sort of aware of the fact there's a clue in this puzzle that I may never understand, which is really disconcerting. And you can see that I'm mixing in my, my ignorance with some reasonable solves. I mean, solving six down which was profess was the definition and then intention to oust idiot from class well I spotted very quickly that class contains the word arse for idiot and that if I replaced the arse with aim for intention I would get a word claim which means profess and that I almost wrote that in which was pretty a pretty good solve uh, and in comparison later on especially, we'll see me just stumble over much, much easier clues. Um, alcohol, the, the difficulty there was knowing that coho is a type of salmon. Um, if you know that, then putting all around the outside of coho to make alcohol becomes uh, reasonable. But uh, if, if you're not familiar with that as a type of salmon, that's another example of a clue where you could just stare at it forever and think, what on earth is going on? Um, uh, Prattle, that was okay, and Man Friday, similarly, uh, Assistant, I don't think I fully passed this at the time, an Assistant is Man Friday, uh, Fascist Party was probably a National Front, um, and then Cleared, yeah, Rid, all in the month of May. Um, so, yeah, a bitty wordplay, but not too bad, especially as I had the M and perhaps the N when I first came to it. Fairweather, I have now solved. I've already looked at that clue by this point and not solved it. I can see it's an anagram of after war, he, and the letter I. Uh, but when I first looked at it, I'm not the best of friends. I was trying to think of... I could see I could get the word hate out of the anagram fodder. So I was trying to go hate one another or something like that. And then, um, yeah, well, that was obviously not right. Um, here, I've gone back to the Latin clue, staring at it hopelessly. And I was a bit unlucky in that that cross with two down, which I think was the hardest clue in the puzzle. Um, and we'll, we'll look at it more later, but it, it's a double definition and it really is quite nasty, I think. Um, and this clue, four down, is also not terribly easy. I, I knew, you know when you know there's a word that you're looking for, and I could feel there was a six letter word for an amount of beer that... I had on the edge of my mind and I just couldn't recall it and the wordplay was too clever to allow me to get you know to retrieve it from my memory that way this was slightly slow stick when you see stick in a crossword and you know it's in the wordplay I'm always trying to put rod in and you know therefore I was a bit surprised when uh, you know I could see at home was in and then I'm looking for a four letter stick and I just came didn't didn't come to me instantly so I had to move on which was silly um, and I've wasted about a minute here just chopping and changing between clues 
And scurry was fine, obviously. Once you, once you get to that, um, you know, second Indian dish. Well, you know, Indian dish. The first thing you should be thinking of is curry, and you know, second, the most common abbreviation is S. So that should be almost a write-in, um, and that allowed me to get articulates. And then I spot the hidden, but again, that takes me a little, too, a few seconds too long, and I. I wasn't terribly familiar with the word at 24 down. Um, so I think I have to get all the checking letters to finally work out what's going on there. And similarly, 21 down wasn't a write-in. I was quite pleased to write in 29 across. So a Damascene for a, somebody from Damascus in Syria, uh, which is Dam and then a location is a scene. So, I mean, that was a good solve, and it's contrasted somewhat with some of the other solves. I mean, this one, oh, God, it's just really irritating. On the street, this person's becoming rebellious. Um, and, you know, this person, I wanted to put me at the end of it, I couldn't see how there could possibly be a word, R-E-S, blank, blank, M-E. Um, shame or something like that um, but no I, I, I failed to see the I've possibility for far too long now I've sold Shalom which is great and that allows me to get Latvian which was a reversal of nail around a TV for a set and probably now I can make progress in this bottom right hand corner so uh, on the street so RE for on street ST and then you know, this person's I've, this person's becoming I've, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, and then story here, well, I, I'm, I'm not sure I knew the word as I say, so what the way that clue is working out is it's a competition which is a contest um, with ousting the ST for saint to give cont, which I think uh, I'll say carefully but I think that is how you pronounce that version of the word where it's meaning a short story it's from the French um, there is a word conte as well um, which I, I forget the meaning of um, but I think I think that the story version doesn't have an accent on the e uh, so moving on Selection of words in pamphlet once. Well, pamphlet, if you ever see that in a crossword clue, you should almost always be thinking of the word tract, which is um, you know, a word for a pamphlet. And then you know, trying to manipulate the word tract in, into, the, into the letters that you need. And I knew I needed seven letters. And I, so I, I managed to spot that extract would work. And that would be uh, a way of talking about a pamphlet once. It would sort of be an extract. Linac we saw in the um, in the crossword championship a few weeks ago. I, it wasn't a word I knew until till it came up there. So I was able to recall that, and that helped with this one. And fourteen down, where we've got exercise in gym. Well, obviously it's an anagram of Walter plus C H E, but I don't do any cartwheels in, in the gym. I don't know about you. So I, you know, I was thinking about very different types of exercises there, and failed to see cartwheel until I saw wheel. Um, which was uh, irritating and again I, I'm not unhappy with the way I'm solving here I mean Republic which was I think pub in relic was fine and I get vitiated relatively quickly so again that's vied um, for contested or struggled around the outside of TI which was a note um, and then A and then a reference to the letter T it was the end of a word I think if I remember rightly um, so that was okay. And now I make just the biggest horlix of this top left hand corner. Um, let's just pause it here and have a look at this clue. So questioned the thing done with brusque interrupting. So I could see at this point when I've got the D at the start and the D at the end that the thing done could be a deed. That would be the thing done. So I could, I wanted to put DE at the start and then ed at the end and then all I need is a word for brusque in the middle with the whole thing meaning questioned and you would think that that would be you know so 
just a write-in. It will be a write-in for people like Mark. The very quickest solvers will probably have solved this glue cold without any trouble at all. Um, but I, I think I'm still flustered by the thought that I know I'm going to struggle with nine across. I don't understand two down. Um, I've already looked at four down and I haven't made progress with that. And uh, it, it just felt like I was going, I was in a real, having a real problem in this corner. You can see I'm looking at this. Let's just pause again and have a look at this clue. So Rose as a reactionary in America. Well, what my first thought when I read this clue, before I had any letters in the grid, was that it maybe it could be an anagram of Rose as a. Um, you know, I wasn't sure I liked reactionary as an anagram indicator, but we're programmed, I think, those of us who have been doing these puzzles for a long time, to imprint the amount of letters in the answer on the clue and see if we can find you know, the right number of letters in an appropriate number of words. And here, my brain's thinking, Rose as A is seven letters. Oh, could there be an anagram indicator? Reaction, you know, it could be an anagram indicator. And then, oh, in America, what's that getting at? Is it, is it a place in America? Is it a word for America? Um, but obviously that's gone by the by now, and we have to think again. And I mean, I can't do more, I think, than explain this is a double definition clue, where one definition is the word rose, and there is a type of rose that is the answer. And that word also means uh, a reactionary in, in, in the US. I don't know what the historical context of, of why it's considered a reactionary. And I'm familiar with the word far more as a type of whiskey, um, which probably gives away the answer for those who who, who were struggling with it like, like I was. I, I need all the checking letters before I can get it, I think. Um, but it, yeah, I think that's a really difficult clue. Um, you know, unless you're a gardener or a student of American history, I don't think, I think you could well not know either of the, the meanings referred to in this clue, which makes it very difficult. Um, you can see I'm now flitting between, and I think in the end I think I've got to just solve four down, I just have to recall this word from my mind. Um, I think if I went to more pubs I would get this, because I think there are some pubs that refer to the, the word of four down. Um, so let's just take a quick look at that too. So much beer, uh, less than completely admirable, get upset inside. So it's, I think, not too difficult to d discern how this clue should be passed. It feels like it's uh, much beer is the definition. So, it, you know, it's like a barrel of beer or something. It's a word like barrel, which indicates a lot of beer. And then it's a word for admirable, probably a four-letter word for admirable, um, which is going to have its last letter knocked off because it's less than completely admirable. And then we'll have a three-letter word for get upset inside, for get upset, which will be inside that other word. And when I was looking at this, I was thinking, well, get upset, that could be, could that be ail? If something ails you, it might get you upset. So I was trying to put ale in the middle, and finally, I think I came up with irk as a possibility, and then I remembered firkin, which is um, fine, being that something's admirable, it's fine. And once you have the F, then I could get brief for brusque, which is an appalling brain freeze there. I mean, not to be able to come up with a five-letter word that means brusque with an I in the middle of it is terrible. And now, you can see I've gone fairly quickly there, so let's... Um, Let's just pause and take a quick look at what was going on. So uh, asunder, so part is asunder, and ut infra, well, um, those Latin scholars would be appalled at the fact that I don't know that. I think ut for as, I probably do know um, at some part of my brain. And infra for under, well, infra dig, yeah, maybe, maybe I do know it in some way, but Whenever I see ut infra, I'm just thinking it means something very specific in Latin that I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's almost like a phobia when I see Latin in clues. Um, so I was lucky to get that. I needed the checking letters from the R. Um, 
And then once I've got the U in there, I can write Bourbon in because I remember Bourbon's a type of rose. I don't understand the reactionary in America reference. Um, and there we go. So 10 minutes 23. I feel like I should have got that done in about, I don't know, eight minutes without you know, with a tiny bit of extra knowledge. Um, and still, you know, nothing like as quick as the, the very best solvers. I think Mark will be around five minutes again for this one. Um, so, you know, that's what we all aspire to. But anyway, I hope this was a helpful run through. And we'll see you again tomorrow or later even on Cracking the Cryptic.